Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're making something that's been going around all over TikTok. Um, I don't know what it's called, but basically it's like eggs with like a tortilla on it, and then you flip it and you put in um, ham or chicken or whatever, and then some cheese on it. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the eggs. Now I have two tortillas, so I'm gonna make two of these. If I just have the small tortillas, you could also use the big ones. So I'm just using a little like measuring cup and a fork to stir it, just because measuring cup's small, so I don't need to use um, a whole whisk. That's the word I'm looking for. So I'm just cracking the eggs into the measuring cup. These are smaller eggs than I'm used to. Usually I use large eggs. These are a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna actually use three eggs for the two tortillas. Make sure you don't get any shell in there. And then just put them in the compost when you're done. Okay. Put the egg. Then it's just gonna be a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. In there. And before I rinse them up, I'm just gonna grab the olive oil and put some on the pan. So turn the pan to five. And you can also use, I'm using olive oil, but you can also use um, coconut oil or pretty much any other oil. Even butter you could use. So just a little bit of oil. And then we're just going to um, mix the eggs up. So I just like to stab it through the yolk first and then just kind of whisk it, like as if I were using a whisk. But... Just really getting them good and mixed. Okay, so that looks like it's good. So, now, pan's not quite hot enough, but honestly that's okay. So we're gonna pour about half of this on there. Just enough, oh here, I'll bring you down to show you. It's olive oil, um, just enough to like cover the bottom of the pan. So about half. So yeah, you can see that. We're just gonna let it cook for a minute before you put the tortilla on. Got my another daily cup of coffee. This one's French vanilla though, so I really like it. So, if you look at it now, i just bring you down, um, you can see that it's starting to be white on the bottom, so that means it's, the bottom's starting to be cooked. But we don't want the top cooked yet, because we need that to stick to this. And there we go, I'm going to put this on. Now this pan is like a specific, like, non-stick egg pan. And then I just have, grab a little spatula, I forgot to grab one. And you just put it on, you just let it cook. There, you can see it's starting to stick. You can see almost. So if you start peeling this back, you can see whether or not the egg comes with it. Comes with it. So like right here. For example, let me see if I can zoom you in real quick. The egg is sticking with it. That's exactly what we want. So we just really want when we peel it back for the egg to stick to the tortilla. So which it definitely is now. So I'm just going to so you just lift up one side and just kind of scoop underneath it, trying to get all the egg. Then you're just going to flip it over. So there we go. Ta-da. Gonna flip it back in there. Try and get it in the middle. Turn the heat down just a little bit because we don't want it burning. And then just gonna put in a slice. So this is just chicken breast. I'm just gonna take one slice and put it in there. Okay, let's put that in there. And then we're just gonna put some cheese on cheddar cheese so this cheese is um 
ones I just grated just a minute ago. You can also do pre-grated cheese. Really doesn't matter. Pre-grated cheese just makes it easier, but it's also more expensive, so. Then you're going to roll it like so. See, because we're making a little burrito. And you're just gonna, I'm just gonna hold it there. So all we want is we want the cheese to melt and then it's good to go. This is honestly a really quick recipe. I'm happy about that. If it looks like it might start burning, you can just add a tiny bit more oil. It'll help to like fry the bottom of it. Add the oil and then just kind of, there we go. Mm -hmm. If the cheese is taking too long to melt, you can also put a cover on it. That'll make it a little easier. It's weird with my head out of frame, but I'd rather you guys see what's going on here than my head, so. I'm really enjoying doing this cooking videos. Honestly, it's an excuse to just try recipes that I haven't tried in a while. Plus with being in quarantine and like staying home, I actually have time to cook and stuff, which I love cooking and I love baking, so. Kind of a perfect fit. Okay, it's starting to melt. Almost there. Okay, the cheese is definitely melting now. So I'm gonna turn it around. There we go. There we go. Tortillas just slightly, slightly browned. Oh, you hear that green one? That makes it the cheese is coming out. It is done. I'm gonna take it out. I'll flip it over again on there. And there we go, this finished product. So I'm just quickly gonna make one more and then I'll show you what it looks like now. Let you know how it tastes. So it's all done now. As you can see, whoop, and I almost face planted on the floor. But as you can see, it looks delicious. Um, and I love spice and like everything of mine. So I'm gonna put some Frank's Red Hot Sauce on it too. I'm just gonna carefully open them up. Hopefully keep them open. And just do a little line of hot sauce all in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, so I'm gonna switch it down. Open it up and just do a little line of hot sauce all the way down. And while yes, it's supposed to be a burrito, it's um it's a little hot right now because I just took it out the oven. I don't wanna wait, I wanna eat some right now. Um, so, here we're gonna try it. nice like proper breakfast burrito but it's not like the one where you do scrambled eggs and everything's always falling out it's actually really good tiktok i give you a two thumbs up mm, delicious so thank you for watching my video um and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and um you know if you want to subscribe to my socials those are all down i'm including i'm on tiktok hence how i found this so if you want to follow my tiktok that'll be my username will be down below and if you guys decide to make this let me know because it is actually really delicious and I highly recommend it. So, anyways, ma oh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. The other YouTuber thing that everyone says. Um, anyways, that's it. So, thanks for watching, you guys. See you next time.